We need that key of yours over here. You got some better solution other than, you know, unlocking the door? Hmm? Sorry, a lot going on. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. Yeah, I recognized his picture. I saw him there. But how did his cab get here? Do you think Monarch took it? It's not possible. I've been monitoring Monarch activities this whole time. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> yes, Amy? What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Monarch convinced them <clears throat> the same thing they convinced everybody else. <clears throat> that what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from... From Jack. Yeah. Guessing your little video on the news helped with that. No offense. Jesus. They have no idea what happened. <laughs> hey! I think I found a way in. Stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. 
Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Where? He's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. We need to we keep, need our, to keep contact our contact limited, limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you find on the countermeasures counter complete. complete.
luck in there? Working on it. July 4th, 2010. The hell is this? Brother, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, oh, shit. Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. The video made it clear that he'd been working with Beth in the past. Made me wonder what else she was hiding. Let's try this again. Nope. Door for us? Yeah, just hold on. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. I already did. Now, how about you tell me how you know Will? I've never met your brother. I find that hard to believe considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What? Uh, safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was he talking about? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. 
second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? Anybody check out this map? It looks like he labeled where everything is. Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Hey, Amy. What is this? I don't think you'd believe me. Uh, in the past two hours, I've learned that Monarch is a secret paramilitary. It's a time machine. Okay. I'll compartmentalize that with everything else that shouldn't make sense. We should not share that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So, I guess you're not in- it Says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. Find anything back there? No, nothing I can make sense of.
corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Need to find a way to reset the core first. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine? He said the countermeasure was stolen. But the machine is still here. Hey! It looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. The key fits. It looks like I have to do something else first. Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. still works. <sighs> no, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. The mansion was an extravagance, but it was useful for events like the gala, and it deflected attention from our nearby R&D facility. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. <laughs> 